Hey everyone, so today we're talking about the new network streaming features for the Sony A7 IV. So Sony have recently released a new firmware, version 3, and that gives it network streaming uh, abilities. So what does that mean? It means this camera can directly stream to YouTube. So let's go and talk about how we can do that uh, entirely untethered on the go. So the first thing you need to do is actually connect the camera to Wi-Fi. So we just go to the menu here and then you want to make sure that Wi-Fi connect is set to on and then you want to go down here to access point set and this will start looking for nearby Wi-Fi hotspots. So since we're going to do this entirely untethered, so we want to be able to take this camera outside on the street and just live stream, uh, we're going to make it connect to the hotspot on your phone. So I have a iPhone here. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the hotspot on my iPhone. So you can do this just by going to this tile here and then enable hotspot uh, and then give it a couple of seconds. It should pick up the hotspot on the menu down here. So the name of my hotspot starts with, there it is, DSP. So you click on this and then enter the password. Uh, I'll do that off camera now. All right, that should be the password there. And then we press OK and it should connect to the hotspot on my phone. So yeah, the phone flashed there for a second. So yeah, it's completed it. It set it as the priority connection. That means that's the first one it's gonna connect to. Uh, and that's it. So it doesn't actually connect to the Wi-Fi when it doesn't need it. It's just saved it in the camera so that it knows that next time I need Wi-Fi, that's the one I'm gonna look for. So now we head back out of this. And the next thing you wanna do is you still have to go to the menu, go back and underneath the connect slash PC remote section here, you wanna to go to smartphone connection. Uh, it's already connected. Okay, because I've already set it up, uh, it's already connected to my phone. But basically you wanna have this screen on, uh, on the Wi-Fi or on the smartphone connect screen here. And then on your phone, you need to install the Sony creators app. All right, I turned off the Bluetooth on my phone just to show what it looks like. If you don't have the phone connected, this is the screen it will show. Uh, it will basically say install the Creators app on your phone. So leave it on the screen, install the app on your phone, and then follow the steps, and it will tell you how to connect the phone to the camera. So once the phone is connected to the camera, this is the screen you'll see on that Creators app. You see the name of the camera there, the battery percentage of the camera there. Uh, you can operate the camera, so you can do remote shooting, you can import images and all that sort of stuff. But the thing we're most interested in is this network streaming button down here. Now, before we go any further, we actually have to go onto a computer to set up our stream on YouTube before we can fill out the rest of this. First thing you wanna do is head to youtube.com, then click the create icon over here, and then press go live and it'll take you to YouTube Studio, and then you wanna choose later date and click start, and then choose streaming software and click go. This will take you to this page here. You wanna click schedule stream. Uh, you wanna give your you know, title, description, whatever you know, you're gonna stream. Uh, streaming software, make sure that that is selected there, uh, whatever category you want. And then we're gonna turn this, turn this off for now because we're doing a demonstration here so you know whatever you want if you want live chat or not and so on uh, and then for this purpose we're going to just use unlisted because we're not really going to live stream anything uh, click done and then it will create the stream for you all right so the stream is being created so this box over here this is kind of the preview of what the stream is receiving from you know your camera uh, but we haven't set that up yet, so it's just waiting. Uh, the information that we need to set up the rest of the Creator app is the stream URL. Uh, this URL actually stays the same. You know, it doesn't matter if you have a different stream or anything. It's usually the same URL here. Uh, the important thing is the stream key. So this is kind of like the, the password, if you will, um, that will match the camera feed that you're sending to YouTube to the actual stream that you're doing here. So if you click the little icon here, you can see that's the key. It generates a new key every time, so it's fine. You can also reset it, you know, reset that, and then it should generate a new one. Yep, so it's different again. So yeah, you can copy this uh, and then use it in the app. So let's, let's do that. All right, so now back in the app, we can go to network streaming, and then the streaming destination. Uh, this is just the standard YouTube one here, but you can go in here, make sure you choose RTMP slash RTMPS, click next, 
and then you enter the, the URL or the RTMP address here. Uh, and then the stream key, that's the one, the, the secret key that we generated before, you'll enter it here and then press save. So let me just type that now. All right, so I have that stream key entered there. You tap save and return. And then it says settings saved to the camera. Now it'll take you back to this network streaming screen. Uh, it's a bit misleading what you do next, but that black square down there, or that black text down there, that's a button. If you press it, it switches the camera into streaming mode. Now in the time that it took me to record this video, uh, the hotspot turned off on my phone. So right now it says that you are not connected to Wi-Fi. So let's get that connected again. So we're gonna switch on the hotspot again and then wait for the camera to reconnect to the Wi-Fi. So there it is, that little, that little symbol there means it's connected. So we tap here again, because yep, you are connected to the DSP hotspot there. So we should be good. Now, if we tap start output, that's when we start streaming. So let's do that now. So start output, once started, output from there will continue, even if the app is closed. So okay, okay. Uh, and then on the screen, it does a little blue border. So that means we are streaming now. So we are sending the camera image to the internet. Uh, if I take off the lens cap, let's see. So this is an image here and it's streaming to the internet to that URL and using that stream key. So we should be able to see an output on the screen. So actually in front of me, I can, I can actually see the output now. I'm gonna reposition the camera so that I can get the monitor and, and this on the same time. Okay, so we are streaming. So that preview there is what the camera is looking at. It is a bit delayed. So I'm obviously pointing the camera at the screen now but the preview still says I'm pointing at the table down there. So there is quite a bit of delay between, you know, what I'm seeing on the camera here and what is being sent to the screen there, uh, but it works. Now, this is all going through the phone here. So this phone right now is on 5G. Uh, I am in Australia. So depending on the country you're in and your, you know, mobile carrier, you may or may not be able to stream, you know, video over the phone uh, to YouTube. Uh, but yeah, the concept works, it works. You can go out into the world with just you know these two things and live stream. So I wanna end by saying that this whole setup is not perfect. Uh, you're gonna have battery issues for the phone, for the camera. Uh, you know, if your camera doesn't overheat, your phone might overheat. So you gotta keep those things in mind. Uh, and also for audio, you're gonna make sure that you have a good mic on this thing, you know, that goes without saying. Uh, but the most important thing I found was that the mobile bandwidth, at least for, you know, 5G in Australia, I'm, I'm sitting right in the middle of the, the CBD here in, in the city here. Uh, and I had to set it to low output here. So let me just show you the options here. So low output is 720p at 30 frames per second. Uh, you can make it high, which is 2K, or you can even go custom and go set it at 4K, 30 frames per second, 34 megabits uh, per second bit rate there. I, I don't know if, you know, maybe if you have better 5G uh, in your country, or, or maybe if you have millimeter wave, which this iPhone doesn't have, then maybe you'll be able to sustain that kind of data rate and do like a 4K stream. Um, but I think right now you're going to be mostly limited by the bandwidth that your, your mobile connection has. So I would probably recommend mid is probably the resolution most people would stream at. So, you know, HD, 30 frames per second, six megabits per second here. Uh, and um, I think that should be pretty good for a live stream. Uh, but anyway, hope this is useful uh, and thanks for watching.